Starbucks or be future millionaire with the side button on some future Digibot OG. So guys, I'm not gonna take up much of your time right now. Got things to do this morning, but I wanted to give you a small little update. You can see we're doing the sideways like we were talking about yesterday. We were hoping that we would do a little bit sideways. Ride this uptrend a little bit and then crash because then we can uh, do the sideways down off that end and we can prove ultra bullish after we come down and find some support. I've got some lines drawn out. I think we're gonna, what we're gonna do. Maybe not all the way down to 26 or 24, but I think we're gonna be somewhere between that 28 and 26,000 if we can do this properly. We're, we're exhausting the rest of this area. That's what it looks like to me. We're using some structure on the right side down, but we're gonna have to see only time will tell. XRP is the same thing. They've all been the same. They've been stuck overnight. XRP is riding that trend line. Remember I told you it could possibly bounce up to 64 and do that? It did. And then it pulled it right back down. So, we're going to see what happens. It's going to be an interesting few hours. It's in that uptrend box real nicely. So we're basically looking for some volume. If we can't get any volume, we'll continue down. If we get some volume, well, who knows? That's always can make things interesting. H bar, you know, bounce up. But it got quickly pulled back down. It's about the only one that broke up overnight but we're at critical levels we're gonna have to watch we're gonna have to see if we can get any kind of volume I'll end it real quick with XDC I told you guys XDC is gonna fall hard after all this nonsense gets done this is coming way down it's coming down below here. It's probably going to come down somewhere in here, if you want to be honest. This thing's coming down in half, if not more. Probably more than half. Just because it had a nice little rally like that because of the flare network, it's going to come right back down. And that's why it's already crashed by about, what, 55% from the top? So, T Speak at 222 XRP, future millionaire with the side by the next moment, future did you want OG? XLM's in the same pattern. And this is still, you know, well outside the triangle. Same thing with DGB. DGB's kind of kicked back up to the bottom end, but it's still below the trunk line. It's right on the trend line. Zill's wall below the trend line. So, we're gonna be looking. I can almost turn these the descending trend lines now. So, when I come back this afternoon, it'll be interesting. If you wanna donate, links in the description. If you wanna join Tom Zombie, links also in the description. Stay true, stay blessed.